Hello, welcome to another video. This is what my cat does when she gets outside. She just wants to get dirty. What's up, Susie? Oh, yeah. Okay. She, boy, they get happy when I let them out. Oh, I'd let them out more, but she just kind of does her own thing and doesn't come back, and that's not good. So, the light's really bad. Uh, I am one wrecked dude. I worked so hard so long yesterday that I made myself sick, nauseous, dizzy. <sighs> and I just had nothing but problems. This does not look that great. This is a... Uh, I don't know if you call this a finished product or not, but <laughs> it's very organic. <laughs> yeah, I had, like I said, well, mainly is right there was a trash pile that was like up to there. I just brought the level of that up too. There was a, it was a ditch right there. It was fucking nasty. So I had to deal with that. I literally went through all my trash recycling it's trash but it's recycling i went through it all and sorted it all i had burnables mixed in with everything and it was just a and i had to take care of that because that's where my cistern's gonna go so i needed to get that prepared because i didn't know when i was going to be able to get water delivered because it's freezing now the winter just like winter weather is just like bam get so freaking hard so my plan was to use the end of the water in the cistern to do the cement. The, I couldn't get it to just flow, so I would have had to put in a pump and to get it to go, but then I wasn't sure I had enough, right? Like, I was like, I thought I had more. So, I had to go on a water run, right? And I got you know, like 300 gallons of water and <clears throat> This whole thing right here, you have to realize, this whole thing was just, I, well, you can look at the video, right? So I wrote it till that by hand with a shovel. And it was fucking insane amount of work just to get the water into, the, into it, right? So, I mean, I put the truck here and just opened the water and I dug canals through it. And the water would run down the canal and get over here. And then I'd work it, work, work, work it. And it just took forever to even just get it worked in. So I started running out of time. And... Hey, Susie. Don't walk in the corner. I started running out of time. It was just getting dark. And I was... And the exhaustion was just insane. Like, <laughs> I was tapping into anger to get enough energy to keep going and just staying pissed off at every little thing the whole time. And it is, I didn't have time to stop to eat. I didn't have time to fucking relax. I didn't have time to do shit. I just had to get that shit done because the freezing weather's coming. I got to move the cistern. I got, you know, so I'm just getting pressured by the weather and it's fucking annoying as hell. I guess October though, but <sighs> fucking September went so fast. It was insane. I guess it's still here though. But anyway, so I don't know. That's not a very, I mean, it's, it's about a thousand times better than this, right? I mean, pl uh, pallets and plywood, you know, that's a, that's a horrible <laughs> and a load of rock around that thing and a nice cover over the top of it. And the quality of the job underneath won't be so bad, you know? I mean, would I have liked it to be fancy and nice? Oh, hell yeah. But reality, if I would have rented a, if I would have rented a, um, a tiller, but, you know, I didn't want to, I didn't know. Can you run a tiller into rocks? Can you run a tiller in concrete? You can if you own it, but if you rent it, I don't like thrashing rental equipment. So, yeah, and it's hour plus drive to go rent something. So anyway, 
And, uh, like, I'm just looking at that for the first time today. But, um, the, uh, like, I was thinking I might be able to still work it a little bit. Because it, it's still super wet, and it sat there all night, so... I might be able to, I don't know what I might be able to do, but even if I don't do a damn thing, eh, it's good. It, I didn't, it didn't cost, well, it cost me, um, six bucks in water, <laughs> six bucks in water and just reusing a bunch of other materials and shit that I already had that I needed to move those, uh, concrete bags were, in the way of, um, I got a backfill. Uh, I level up the ground all around there. So, uh, I'm bringing up the ground to the bottom of all the uh, shipping containers and then bringing in base rock. So, it'll be a relatively level pad. The whole getting ground flat thing is super challenging for me. So, and right now I have excessive pain. Um, I mean, my foot is, the foot still isn't fixed and wearing rubber boots. So that is just wrecked, hurts so much. Then like all my joints, like my knees, elbows, freaking shoulders, neck, back, lower, all just throbbing pain, right? So much pain. I worked just, ugh. I mean, that whole thing I did two days in a row, rototilled it with the shovel, you know? The whole thing. And I think on this second go around when I did it last night, like, I only think I had about like that much ish of actual new shit. But then when I was taking the shovel, I was going through that and into dirt. So, uh, and just racing to get it done, w the getting dark, you know, I could have turned on the headlights and stuff, but man, I'm literally like, all I could do to get into the house, take a shower and plop down in the chair and then sleeping was just, I didn't sleep. I fucking, every time I moved, I got woke up by pain. Ugh, so... Oh, my eyes are probably going to go all black like those politicians. Ugh. So anyway, um, yeah, this this type of, this isn't fun, right? I've been having fun. I was having fun with that fucking job when I was putting the rocks in all of a sudden. But then the weather, all of a sudden the weather. I was having fun with it. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. But then it's like, God damn it, the fucking weather is coming bad. And then the fucking water wouldn't come out of the cistern. That was like crazy. <laughs> It's so downhill, but apparently it was literally just on the edge, so I couldn't get it. So, but I don't even think I had enough water in there anyway. So I wasted all this time with that shit. Like, and then it's like, well, why didn't I just wait one more day? Because the weather, it's like going to freeze tonight. So it's super un. No, it's like the last thing you want is the fucking freezing weather on your fresh pour, you know, but what am I going to do? I've been working all fucking summer. I keep, you know, keep like, well, I had to do this earlier. Well, then I wouldn't have done something else. <laughs> so, but I'm glad I had this idea and this idea. I mean, I've been trying to figure out what the hell to do with that cement concrete, whatever, forever. Like it's just been sitting there and I'm just like, God, it was out by my road for the longest time. And I couldn't move it. I got a fucking backhoe, but it, I needed a forklift, right? And that's like seventeen hundred bucks to turn my for, my backhoe into a legitimate forklift. Which, eh. so I tried to move them, and I just oh, it was such a nightmare. I ended up having to move them all by hand. I mean, I put them all in the bucket and then picked them all out. I mean, that was freaking so much work. So <clears throat> anyway, that shit's done. I might go mess with it a little bit right now to see if it'll trowel down a little more. Maybe. I don't know. If it doesn't, I don't really care. I mean, 
what I have liked. I just look at it, it's like a very organic. <laughs> it's all bumpy like the actual ground is. <laughs> Who needs a fucking smooth patio? I mean, what am I doing out there? I don't know. It definitely would be nice, smooth. Maybe there's some kind of kind of top coat I could just, like a leveling, self-leveling. Oh, yeah. Just pour Yeah, I'm sure there is. It'd probably be the most expensive shit ever, though. So maybe someday when I have um, more concrete poured, I'll just, like, jackhammer that shit up and freaking throw down a rebar or whatever grid right on top of the jack hammered shit and then just pour a bigger pad right there you know so i i've fixed pads like that before so it's no big deal and um i'm rambling because extreme exhaustion bye or i say peace later